This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Easy Edit Pro. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dopotions.com, and in this After Effects tutorial, we will create an energetic logo animation inside of After Effects that too without using any plugins. It's a super fun animation, very easy to create and let's take a look at some really underrated effects inside of After Effects. So with that said, let's jump into After Effects and get started. We are also doing a giveaway about which I will tell you by the end of the video. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's call this render as our main render comp 1920 by 1080 30 FPS in 10 seconds long. Hit OK. Let's create one more new composition, which is going to be our logo placeholder. You can use any logo or text, whatever that you want. I'm going to call this logo. Hit OK. And uh, for the logo, I'm going to type in a text. So let's type in zap, just like you saw in the example. And I'm going to align this into the center. All right, let's create one more new composition. This is going to be our revealing lines that slashy lines that reveal our logo. So let's call this lines. You can call it whatever that you want. I'm going to hit control Y to create a new solid Call this a fractal. And yes, you guessed it right. I'm going to go into effects and preset type in a fractal um, noise. Let's apply that effect up. Now, this is a very cool effect if you are not familiar with this effect then i would definitely suggest you guys to take some time and get familiar with this this effect has a lot of different possibilities and one of which we will explore today so first things first i'm gonna bring down the contrast to zero and let's bring down the brightness as well to minus 100 so we have a completely black screen and um, then let's create a keyframe on the contrast and the brightness. Let's go to around one second and 15 frames and increase this to around 450 should be good and increase the brightness to let's go with 240 or something. All right, so we have a very simple transition from black to white, right? Now, what I'm going to do is jump into the transform properties, unlink the uniform scaling let's increase the scale width really high something like 9000 or something you know so we get the straight lines and uh, bring down the scale height to around 80 or 70 depending on the look that we want to go for let's select this layer hit s to bring down the scale properties and scale this to around um, something like 130 percent and hit r to bring up the rotation properties and rotate this by minus um let's go with minus 30 degrees all right so i'm going to scale this a bit more so that it covers up the complete entire frame so something like 180 should be a good round figure and now you can see we have this really cool reveal but the lines are not that sharp so in order to make it sharp i'm going to go into effects and preset and search for sharpen let's apply that up and set this to 50 so we have a very nice and sharp lines now one thing that we need to fix here is the offset turbulence so we get this really nice lines moving up so i'll set it to somewhere around there let's go at the very start create a keyframe on the offset turbulence go to one second and 15 frames and set this to really high something like thirty thousand. so now if i preview this we get this really cool transition looking pretty nice but right now we have two properties one is the white and one is the black so i want to remove the black property and just want to keep the white lines so in order to do that i'm going to extract the black color so i can go into effects and preset search for extract double click to apply that and let's simply increase the black point and now if i just turn this on so you can see what we're doing here we are extra extracting the black color so i can go really high something like 120 or something play around with the number and now if I preview this, we get this really cool reveal. Pretty nice. I'm happy with this. So our lines is ready. Let's go back into our uh, main render comp. Let's hit control Y to create a new solid called this um, BG for background. Hit OK. And let's drag and drop in our lines. Let's drop in our logo on top of that. So we have something like this, right? And then what I'm going to do 
is set the track mat of the lines to alpha mat and boom there we have a really interesting reveal for our logo which looks pretty damn cool if you don't see this track mat option you can hit f4 on the keyboard and that should make it visible so that is uh, looking very nice i can even maybe tweak it a bit more so i can go into effects and control let's increase the uh, black point to 125 or something so it looks much more rugged and yeah i really like this look now let's start with the fun part so i'm going to select the logo composition hit ctrl d to duplicate it and let's turn this on we can hide the lines as of now so we can just see the logo and then let's go into effects and preset and search for vegas so this effect will help us create those lines and we can also use saber but i think i wanted to keep this tutorial plugin free so no plugins so i wanted to go with the default or the um, traditional plugins that comes with after effects all right so let's change the blending mode from over to transparent let's change the segment first of all to one and uh, for the color you can go with any color that you like i'm gonna go with a nice blue uh, theme let's set the length to zero and let's create a keyframe on the rotation as well so i'll, I'll go at the very start create a keyframe on the length and the rotation and also on the start opacity let's set this to one okay that is fine and hit u so we can see just the keyframes let's zoom in a bit go to around 20 frames rotate this by minus 90 degrees and let's increase this to one so we have this really nice uh, reveal as you can see looks pretty cool now i think i'll go right here and set the start opacity to zero so now we have something like this so it comes in and fades out but what i can do is actually move the start opacity this keyframe to 10 frames so now we have a very intense start and then it fades out like so so this is looking pretty good i think now let's go into effects and preset and add some turbulence um, displacement so i'm gonna bring down the size to two or something and increase the amount to 80 so we get this very nice rugged look it looks which looks like electricity and now we can go ahead and add some nice glows to this so let's type in glow um double click to add this glow all right let's bring that down to 0.8 or something let's hit ctrl d to duplicate this glow and this time i'm going to bring up the radius to around 80 so we get this really nice glow now obviously i'm going to bring down the intensity but you can see the glow doesn't look that good so what we have to do is go into the project panel and hold alt and click on this button that says 8 bbc and i'm going to switch to 32 bbc so now you can see we get some very nice and prominent glows now it's going to make this project a bit heavy but the glows are going to be super super nice you can see it looks super cool and that is what i am looking for so now before we proceed further with this tutorial here is a quick message from our today's sponsor easy edit pro are you a musician or host your podcast visualize your audio track with our new powerful kit no more boring pictures witness a project like no other before audio visualizer kit pro includes all vital compositions audio presentations podcast visualizations lower thirds elements lyric videos typography and also stunning 3d background Choose existing composition or create your own custom shot with trendy and unique design. Now let's duplicate this at control D to duplicate it. Let's go five frames forward and move this hit you so we can see the keyframes now i'm gonna switch this to 
plus 90 and then go right over here and set this to zero so now if i preview this we get this really cool line but i'm going to zoom this i'm going to scale this a bit so i'm going to hit s and let's scale this by 1 1 10 so we get a different look and you can see it looks super cool all right now let's change the color to something like a teal and that looks good for this one i think i'm gonna keep it a much more blue color so yeah that is actually looking pretty sick maybe i'll bring down the uh width of the vegas to one one is a bit too low 1.5 or something yeah that looks much better to me i think yeah that is looking much better now let's duplicate this hit control d and now we can create those sparks so i'm going to first of all change the color to something like an aqua or you can change the layer to any color that you want let's move this to around 10 frames i'm going to hit u let's maybe go two frames forward and create a keyframe on the amount and the size of the displacement map again i'm going to hit u so we can see those keyframes let's go to somewhere around one second and set the amount to let's go with minus 35 and the size to something like really big so something like 60 and also bring up the complexity all the way up to 10 so now if i preview this we can see we get this really nice kind of a bursting look which i really like i think i'm gonna bring them closer a bit so it looks like this pretty cool now i can select the keyframes i'm gonna hit f9 or you can simply right click go into keyframe assistant easy ease go into the graph editor right click and make sure you're working in the edit speed graph select this point and drag this handle to the left so now if i preview this boom that is looking so so sick looks pretty awesome you can play around with the evolution if you want to achieve a different look so i'm gonna hit s and let's scale this up to around 125 percent that looks good to me and i'm gonna hit u so we can see all the keyframes and let's tweak uh, the rotation a bit so i'm gonna set this to zero let's go right here and maybe set this one to 90 so we get this really nice bursty look okay let's move this a bit forward that's looking good maybe i'll change the color to some like a nice blue color all right pretty sweet but i think that uh, the elements right here are too heavy or too much so i'm going to bring that down by using an effect called roughen edges now you can of course go with the effect that we are getting right now but i like to keep it a bit more subtle so i can just double click to apply that effect and let's bring that down 1.2 or something and now you can see we have those effect but it's very very minimal but it's way too minimal as of now so let's bring down the edge sharpness to 0.1 and that is going to look much better i think let's um let's set this to something like 0.6 and yeah that is looking much better i think yeah pretty cool let's duplicate this so hit ctrl d let's move this a few frames forward and then change the color to the teal one and obviously i'm gonna hit u and let's change the rotation amount so i'm gonna set this to i don't know let's go with 180 or something just to get a different look altogether. and let's go right here and set this to zero so we get this really nice burst let me make this a bit a few frames forward that is actually looking pretty nice let's create one more copy hit ctrl d now you can of course use a uh, different colors if you want to so if i want i can go with a nice white color or maybe a red one you know you can play around with this stuff you can make it maybe a purplish that would look cool too you know maybe a bit lighter version of purple yeah so you can see all together it's looking pretty nice now let's turn on the lines and the logo so now if i preview this we get this really cool look now obviously i want to add some color to our logo so i can go into effects and preset and search for ramp that is the gradient ramp i'm going to double click to apply that and um, let's 
let's actually switch to radial ramp i'm going to bring that down like so bring that up let's go with a nice light blue color for this and for this one i'm going to go with a darker blue tone so something like that and let's make this a bit more lighter and yeah that is looking super cool now when the impact is at the peak i want to add a simple wiggle or a simple camera shake kind of a look to this so in order to do that i'm going to select everything except the background layer hit control shift c to pre-compose it let's call this animation and then um i'm going to do a very simple trick here so let's first of all go into effects and preset and search for slider slider control basically all right and then i'm going to select the animation layer hit p to bring down the position hold alt and click on the stopwatch and let's type in a simple wiggle expression the simple wiggle open and close parentheses 10 comma 15. all right now highlight or select the 10 and parent this to the slider controller so now we can control our wiggle using the slider so i'll go to somewhere around there where the intensity is way too high now one thing that i'm noticing is i want to increase the timing of the lines i think they are way too fast to animate so i'm gonna select them drag them a bit further in time and let's see yeah that is looking much better so i'm gonna go right over here create a keyframe on the slider control move maybe five frames forward set this to 10 then go five frames forward and set this to zero all right, so now if I preview this, we get something like this. We get something like this, which looks pretty intense and I really like it. Pretty cool. And boom, there we have our energetic logo animation ready. Now, the best part about um, this effect is that I can anytime jump into the logo comb. I can drag and drop in any logo. I can even change the text. So let's call something like dope. All right, and align this into the center. And if I go back, boom, we don't even need to recreate the complete animation from scratch. We have it ready to roll and it's so easy to update. So you can use any font, you can use any logo and come up with a really cool look. Make sure to check out Easy Edit Pro and talking about the giveaway, one lucky winner will get a chance to download whichever pack he wants from the Easy Edit Pro website. All you have to do is make sure that you have subscribed to this channel and comment down below which pack would you love to have. I will be selecting a comment and the winner will be announced next week on my Instagram story. So make sure you follow me on Instagram at dope.motions. I have mentioned all the links in the description below. With that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.